See, the way I like to check out my horror movies is at nighttime with the window open, a little breeze blowing. Hope it's nighttime for you as well because it just makes for a better experience. At least I believe so. But today, checking out The Fly, 1986. Kicking it back old school again. Look, I even got the incense, incense going. <laughs> the incense going. I do not participate in that activity. <laughs> but yeah, The Fly. Yo, I have seen this pop up in the comment section many of many of times. So I was like, why not check it out tonight? I did look up the director. I think David Croningberg. Hopefully I said that correct. But I ain't gonna lie. From looking at all of these titles of his movies and the box art, yo, these are some eerie dark web title and box art looking type movies so i'll take it the fly is about to be amazing but either way to go if you want to check out the full movie reaction with no edits minimal cuts that link will be in the description below huge thank you for supporting the patron also do me a favor click that like button run the video up in the youtube algorithm that way we can keep growing but other than that let's go ahead and check out the fly what am i working on uh i'm working on something that'll change the world change it a lot or just a bit you'll have to be more specific uh, so you, you could come back to my lab. I have a fiame of my very own. You know what that is? Uh, a real restaurant espresso machines with an eagle on top. And... Somehow I get the feeling you don't get out much. You can tell that? <laughs> yeah, it is pretty obvious, bro. Damn, she looks so familiar. Sorry, I have three other interviews to do before this party's over. Yep, yeah, they're not working on something that'll change the world as we know it. Yeah, but they're lying. I'm not. I'm a little intrigued. This is it? It's uh, cleaner on the inside. I wouldn't be finding out. Maybe this is a bad idea. Oh, it's too late. You've already seen them. Can't let you leave here alive. Designer phone booths. Very. <laughs> it kind of do look like one. Hey. I bet you have a really neat jukebox in here, too, someplace. She's not tripping out. I call them telepods. They're controlled by this. Say, do you have something uh, on you that's uh, personal? I thought she was giving them the panties already. <laughs> I wonder if voice recognition was so fire back then. The idea of it. I heard teleportation. Well, I'm impressed. Great. <laughs> the world's largest microwave oven. Oh, I don't think I get it. What happened? You got it already, you just can't handle it. Right? Um, your stocking has just been teleported. He said it would change the world. I'm impressed. There's a lot of stuff in there I don't even understand. I'm really, uh, and I farm bits and pieces uh, out to guys who are much more brilliant than I am. I say, build me a laser. This, they do, and I just stick them together. But, yeah. uh, not with that. What do well, you want me to get the quotes right, don't you? I thought this was personal. You can't write about this. I'm a journalist. You knew that. Uh, Listen, Particle Magazine sent me to that party to get a story. But you did tell this stuff to All right, but you did, though. Yeah, in a way, I suppose I did. That sure did. I get I can tell he's really serious about it because yeah, he don't want anyone, anyone else to take part in it. But you did know she was a journalist. What do you think? It's a joke. What's well, an old nightclub routine? two cabinets and you fell for it your magician has followed you here <laughs> your magician hey, listen uh, why don't you two use my office if you plan to make anything disappear please let me know <laughs> let's see what the people at omni think about it no no uh, listen <laughs> his eyes be tripping me out dog listen you're not doing a very good job of convincing me i think the world should know about it now but, uh, not yet. Look, what do you got so far? If someone seriously, seriously shows you a teleportation device, that work seems to work. But like you said, inanimate. But you want to test human. Do you, do you think you'll go for it? Ah, oh, that'd be tough. This is about to be amazing. It doesn't seem like a horror movie so far. Your book will end 
with me transporting myself 15 feet through space from oh i thought he was gonna ask her how did you get in i have a key you remember yeah i was wrong he's really quite brilliant an inch away from the nobel prize for physics he was only 20 at the time you're a petty schmuck <laughs> I'm hoping this don't go the direction I'm thinking. As if she's gonna sacrifice using him. Oh, that mother bleeding though. Sound like a pig. So do you just Test that again? What else? Why didn't it work? I think it uh, turned the baboon inside out. Damn. Computers are dumb. They only know what you tell them. I agree. Because eventually the flesh has to break down in order to teleport. Do you ever change your clothes? No, these are clean. Uh, I change my clothes every day. <laughs> she got up to check. Five sets of exactly the same clothes? Learned it from Einstein. Expend any thought on what I'm gonna wear, I just... You really don't, but sheesh. I bought some steaks. We can go out. Cheeseburger? I knew it. That's why she was trying to see if he was dirty. Cute. You know that. I mean, I'd be impressed too, man. Don't judge her, though. She met somebody who damn near created teleportation. Didn't fully work yet, but... And she ain't even with old boy. Sorry. I just want to eat you up. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, that's why old ladies pinch babies' cheeks. It's the flesh. Right, right. Mm. Want to try an experiment? That kind of makes sense. Even though it is dead, though, but. I could use some finesse, but um, it tastes like a steak. Teleported half. Oh, are you serious? Oh. One thing just came apart. <laughs> mm, that funny. Funny how? So one was just natural, one was tele teleported. I like those old ladies pinching babies, but it doesn't. Not yet. I haven't taught the Which would explain the baboon. <laughs> she went back to the normal. <laughs> uh, that a Maserati? What are you doing here? I followed you. You stayed with Brundle all night. Why didn't I believe you? I wonder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you'd look great in there. I am finally onto something that's big. Huge. Yeah? What? His cock? Thank you for making my most paranoid fantasies come true. I don't have to report to you, you creep! For real, this dude's psychotic. <laughs> she would be dropping the bag if she don't stick with him. And I don't even mean that financially wise. Legit, overall, the per just the person who he is, yeah, this dude is a genius. Man, an anomaly. You don't, you don't meet people like him every day. Hey, shit, I'm sticking with you. You might be a little crazy, but maybe you're not. We just don't understand your kind. It's really happy. Tight. You like Chinese food? Yes. Hey, what's this? Oh, yeah, from your editor. I'm sorry, somebody slipped it under the door. Oh, yeah, but, yeah I'll wait. Oh, no. What? Damn. Nothing, it's just uh, personal bullshit. I take it she feel bad now, huh? Because the story got published. It means that I'm your editor and I'm shaping your material into a story. You told me there was no story. You said Brundle was a con man. I sent you to the Bartok party to see what you could find. Your discovery is my discovery. Everything that has to do with transportation will become obsolete. I'm right there in the middle of it. The only recorder of the event from the inside out. Just keep me informed. As a friend, as a professional confidant, I don't want you to disappear from my life. It's a con man. He conned himself. He conned himself right back in there. What about sex? Yeah, I'm not saying love or affection, just stress relieving sex. You're disgusting. 
As always. <laughs> Why do dudes always try to get that one last time hit? Wouldn't want to disappoint you. Yeah, but believe me, after what she witnessed, she moved on, buddy. Now she runs out late at night to see him. Or is this the Ronnie game? I didn't mean to kill your brother, but he didn't die in vain. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Uh-oh. Is he gonna do that fly? Accidentally, huh? Teleportation successful. Testing the baboon? The oh, yeah, yup. Yep. You could have killed yourself. Are you sleeping with Stathis Barnes? What are you talking about? I, I don't know. I, don't, I just. Is he still in love with you? How could he not be? So, was it something to do with the microchip that was in there? I mean, that he. Got stuck to him? Or the fly that was in there? Or both? It doesn't feel like a horror movie so far. She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> So is he really doing this for this role? Or is this like a stunt double? Yo. <laughs> Go, baby. Stop flipping. <laughs> like a cart man. <laughs> I was trying to read his lips, but I couldn't see what he was saying. Something me? The personal potential I've been neglecting all these years that I've been uh, obsessively pursuing. Oh, that sugar. Do you normally take coffee with your <laughs> sugar? <laughs> and not to wax messianic, but uh, it may be true that the synchronicity of those two events. Also, certainly true. I will say now, however, uh, subjectively, that uh, human. I don't know if this is just him being overexcited or is this a symptom of a fly or something because, yo, the amount of sugar dude is taking it is crazy. But, she, man, she ain't excited than that. Like, yeah, I would be too. I just can't. What I wanted to do worked. Teleportation, that is. Uh, <laughs> Her freaky ass. Uh, uh, uh. have any fluid left in your body. We've been doing this for hours. He did say it purified them, but I'm not going to lie. It's making me want to look up fly facts because I'm just wondering, like, are they just endless like that when it comes to stamina and having sex? Yeah. It happens when you get older. Weird hair configurations. I don't know. They're really coarse. I'm looking forward to a hairy body. It's one of the compensations of old age. Come here. Where are you going? He the freaky one. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Not my new head. What are you doing? Relax, friend. I don't really think you want a body covered with these. I want you to go through. I want to teleport you as soon as possible, right now. Mm, nah, we're going to wait for the test. I hardly need to sleep anymore, and I feel wonderful. It's like a drug. I told you I'm scared to do it. What do I have to say? I'm not going to do it. You're a fucking drag, you know that? It's like he's living fast. I got a hundred bucks says I can beat either one of them. Take a hike, asshole. There's my hundred. And I get to take the lady home for the night if I win. Says who? Do I look like a hooker to you? <laughs> a little bit. Was that fluid something sticky or something? Are you a bodybuilder or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I build bodies. I can't make it. Oh, there's an elevator. Uh, don't you feel elevated? 
<laughs> I knew that was after. <laughs> Clap your shit and teleport. How about a nice alcohol rub? Don't do that, it hurts. I didn't know you had the skin of a princess. I don't want to! I'm afraid! Don't be afraid! No. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Who's this? Hey, is this the movie that line came from? Hey, I've heard that me I heard that blah many times, dog. No, be afraid. I don't know why I always thought I've never seen Terminator. I don't know why I've always thought that came from Terminator. No, be afraid. Be very afraid. Yo, that's oh, I tell you, I live with my mother too. Mom, meet Tony. I still stand on that he was still good, though he was a catch for her. But the only problem was he got ahead of himself. He couldn't help it. He got in that damn telepod. And also the fly was in there as well, which so far seemed to be what screwed him over, seems like, whatever. But, yeah, I mean, it can't always be good. You got to have some cons. And he wasn't listening or playing by the rules. Why'd you scare her off? Jealous? You're changing, Seth. Everything about you is changing. You look bad. You smell bad. I've never been much of a bather. Those weird hairs that were growing out of your back, I took them to a lab. I had them analyzed. Oh. Yeah, that's a strange thing to do. Not as strange as the results. I came to the conclusion that they were definitely not human. Very likely insect hairs. That's silly. That's ridiculous. Look. Something happened when you went through, Seth. You've got to get some help. I think you must be sick. You You're must... jealous! <laughs> I've become free. I've been released, and you can't stand it. Does this look like a sick man to you? No! I don't need you anymore. Not the teeth. Oh, he bit his nail off. Ah. It's like a pimple. What's happening to me? Am I dying? Is this how it starts? Am I dying? Because the secondary would be zero point zero three kilograms. That is tiny. To slowly deteriorate and just witness it. It probably is It's not Brundle. Oh, it's coming out of it. No. Out of all things, a fly in there. Which makes sense because they'd be everywhere. Yo, no! <laughs> so is the fly gonna become him? If I took that scene in correct day, y'all. I really hope that's what it's gonna do. Seth, I'm here. Stop. You were right. I'm diseased. So I know fruit flies age real fast. They die like hella quick, right? But just a normal fry, fry, fly, do they also age fast? Because I knew earlier, I was like, yo, he seemed like he's kind of just rapid, just moving real fast. Like everything has to be done now, like at an instant. It might be contagious somehow. I wouldn't want to infect you. Every time I look in the mirror, someone different, someone hideous, repulsive. What happened? Oh, shit. The computer got confused. There weren't supposed to be two separate genetic patterns. Well, splices together. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I thought the fly was just going to turn this on. It did say fusion. Never mind. So yeah, they became one. Ah, oh, that sucks. My teleporter turned her into a gene splicer. A very good one. Now I'm not Seth Brundle anymore. I'm the offspring of uh, Brundle and Housefly. Oh, God. Oh, God. There must be something we can do, you know, somebody we can go to, a test that can be done. No! 
I won't be just another tumorous bore talking endlessly about his... Well, then what do you want me to do? Why did you call me? You gotta push pride to the side at that point, dog. That's disgusting. Uh. Ear, no. Help me. Please help me. You say, if only I saw him. Show me. <laughs> I'd have brought some Ray with me. Oh, up here. Oh. Got pretty good at it, haven't I? Yeah, it's almost second nature. Oh, look at this. What's this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I seem to be stricken by a disease with a purpose, wouldn't you say? I mean, Lisey's having fun with it. I can't take it. It's too much. It's going to take. The disease has just revealed its purpose. We're not to worry about... What does the disease want? It wants to turn me into something else. Uh. Does it most people would give anything to be turned into something else? Turned into what? What do you think, a fly? Am I becoming a 185-pound fly? <laughs> something that never existed before. I'm becoming Brundlefly. At the very least, it should make a fabulous children's book. How does Brundlefly eat? In a painful way that he's very much the way a fly eats. His teeth are now useless. Brundlefly breaks down solids with a corrosive enzyme. He regurgitates on his food. It liquefies, and then he sucks it back up. Ready for demonstration, kids? Oh, my God. My God. Hey, Ronnie. This your little boyfriend? No, I'll stop playing. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Oh, I thought about that earlier. Oh, no. I'm pregnant with Seth's baby. Hey, so far, this is one of those movies I do not want to end, man. His death is... I'm scared. It's going to be all right, Ronnie. It's going to be fine. The way Seth is slowly... Is there something wrong with me? Why am I losing it? It's better this way, Ronnie. You'll see. Yo, do you freaking keep that baby or what? Just word me because I mean, hey, this would never ever happen again. So do I? But like I was gonna say though, the way Seth is slowly transitioning into a fly, yo, it looks creepy. AF. His skin is bubbly. His teeth are like they're getting sharp and shit. Because I ain't gonna lie, early on when those hairs was kind of coming out, I was like, all right, he may look a little creepy, but I thought it was just gonna jump into the whole little fly look or whatever. But yeah, it's kind of giving me how when I saw American Werewolf in Paris when it first transitioned. For me, it looked beautiful. And I ain't gonna lie, this is looking pretty dope so far. Uh, did she get pregnant before or after? Best thing that could happen. Well, oh, okay. doesn't matter. He's taking out to get rid of it, huh? Give us a push. You can push it out. Come on. That's it. Come on. No, wait, wait. No! 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 Is that a maggot? <laughs> <laughs> The hell of a dream. <laughs> the Brunderfly Project. She gonna win that story every time. The pregnancy. Let me go. Damn, look at this figure. Let me go back. The whole pregnancy crazy dream stories girls be telling. I thought about that. I want a disc. Give me preliminary integration. I want a disc. Give me preliminary integration. 
if I took that right, because the last one, it took me a minute to pick it up, but I caught it, though. So, basically, get in there with another human, so he'll kind of start going back to human, at least. Minimal. Oh, this is amazing. Voice not recognized. Oh, gosh. You're a relic. Yes, you are. I can't <laughs> deny it. Vestigial archaeological. Redundant. <sighs> Artifacts of a bygone era. Damn. He's just... He just collecting this stuff, huh? Sometimes I feel bad. I ain't gonna lie. My teeth have begun to fall out. The medicine cabinet's now the Brundle Museum of Natural History. You wanna see what else is in it? No. Yo, what about the baboon? <laughs> I, I just, I wanted to see you. You have to leave now. And never come back here. Have you ever heard of insect politics? Mm -hmm. Neither have I. <laughs> Insects. Don't have politics. They're very brutal. I'm afraid. Um... I don't know what you're trying to say. This is a good ass scene, dog. I'm saying I'm an insect who dreamt he was a man and loved it. Damn. But now the dream is over. I'm saying I'll hurt you if you stay. He's right though. He's trying to protect her, but is he gonna get the eyes too? Cause that's the first thing I think of when I think of a fly. Well, I think of how dirty they are first. I couldn't tell. Let's go, Dan. No. I think you're in the right state no. of mind. No. Now, I want it out of my body now. Cause I don't want it in my body. Do you understand me? I don't want it in my body. Listen, I don't mean to interfere, but I detect a certain uncertainty here. You know, there are tests we can do to determine whether or not... I don't want tests. Tests can't guarantee anything. The baby could start off normal and then become... I want an abortion. I think my jawbone broke. And that's that thick glass. Viewers, y'all ain't nothing. Y'all was sitting there watching, waiting on that. Y'all knew that was coming. Y'all knew that. You sit and watch that happen. You know it's good. It scared the shit out of me, dog. <laughs> Easily top three, baby, top one jump scare. My life's in a jump scare. A jump scare like that, dog. You don't have to teach Seth some manners. <laughs> you gotta knock, dog. Why did you want to kill Prendel? Please. I have the baby. I can't. Oh, he's going to. Is he gonna use her? Nah, he won't do that. No, he's gonna destroy it. It's 
instant almost. Is he going to attack her? Because like he said, though, it... They don't have emotions like that. You go there. Oh, so he is going to use her. I thought he was going to use her ex. We come together there. You, me, and the baby. Together. It would be a fly fusing with a maggot with a human. Bro, you gotta kill Seth. Hey, that look good, though. I ain't gonna lie, though. Because it looked more humanoid if it was an actual fly. But she still. Oh, but Telepod one disconnected when he shot it, right? <laughs> he don't seem like such a bad guy no more. Future Burn Fire and Telepod successful. Please take him out. see if it's some more at the end this was amazing yo i can't tell you the last time a movie had me that pulled in man but whatever happened to the baboon did i miss that part did something go over my head is it something i'll probably pick back up uh, as i go editing but regardless though i did think he was gonna end up using uh her ex i forgot his name i thought seth was gonna end up using her ex <sighs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I enjoyed the freak out of this movie, man. Just watching him slowly change throughout the movie. The ish was beautiful AF because you just saw it getting uglier and uglier. And even his character started, his personality just started to become uglier and uglier. But it seemed like he couldn't control it. At first, I can tell if that was just naturally his personality just being pushy like that or if that was something from the fly. And maybe it was just me, but the movements and the freaking head ticks and everything, I was like, yo, this is so good just hearing them interact with each other i was like it's definitely pulling me in because she, i was i was really feeling that relationship yo she wasn't cheating on because at first i was a little mad but i'm like hold up no she just moving on but just happened to meet someone who's just damn near superhuman whatever and the way he introduced himself just definitely gave off this psychotic serial killer vibe anyways so i'm like oh he's just about to be luring people back to the trap whatever and just doing some fly ish whatever and this freaking baby though i think she's gonna end up keeping it i really do honestly i hope she do because hey i mean oh my gosh after that freaking nightmare i almost said dream as a nightmare it'd definitely be hard to and also witness just what you see him turn to but then again because it's like i don't know if because they did have sex be a good amount of times before he decided to be all reckless and jump into it though so maybe it is one of those situations where it's like okay it, it's risky but it's like maybe it's just the previous version of him or that risk is also there as well that no it's the fly version of him and you may not even get the fly version i i don't know but this is this is amazing well if you want to check out the full movie reaction with minimal edits minimal cuts that link will be in the description below huge thank you for supporting the patron as well also do me a favor click that like button run the youtube video up in the algorithm click that subscribe button turn that notification on that way you can join the camp and just enjoy these movies with us at night but other than that go ahead and enjoy your night i'm out